Ladies and gentlemen, I have the envelope. It gives me the distinct pleasure to introduce the HCS Teacher of the Year for 2017-2018, and that is Ms. Whitney Glenn, PD <laughs> Elementary. And at this time, uh, Ms. Uh, Glenn will provide uh, a response to our group. Congratulations. I'm pretty short. <laughs> Thank you so much. This is quite an honor. To all of the teachers of the year here tonight, congratulations. Validation from your peers is one of the most rewarding accomplishments a teacher can receive. And you all are here because of the love you have for your students and the love your coworkers have for you. I hope this year has reinforced for you a love of teaching and building relationships. I hope it has encouraged you and allowed you to feel appreciated for the work that you do every day. To the committee, thank you for this opportunity. I said from the beginning of this process that I just hoped I would have the chance to be observed so you all could see my amazing school and all of the students that we get to work with every day. I'm so glad that you saw the love that we have for each other at PD. I will do the best job I can to represent our district well. I want to say thank you to the many, many people who have helped me not only through this process, but those of you who have helped me become the teacher that I am today. This honor is just as much yours, and I wouldn't be standing here if it weren't for all of you. When I was named PD's Teacher of the Year in October, my husband was the first one to congratulate me and offer his support 100%. Without his support, there is no way that I could live out my calling the way that I do. I am truly thankful for him. I love you, and I'm thankful God blessed me with you. To my daughter, Ruby, you were in a walker when I started working at PD. You have come to school with mommy every summer before school starts, and on many other occasions to help prepare the room for my school babies. You are so generous to share mommy with students who need me each year. Thank you for having the sweetheart that you do. I can't wait for you to be a busy bee in August. To my family, my dad, sister, Mima, and grandpa are all here tonight. Grandpa, I made 100. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for coming to show your support as you have my whole life. I've said many times throughout this process, I'm very fortunate to have a supportive family. Taylor, thank you for listening to me present my literacy portfolio and for helping me convey the message that was in my heart. I wanna thank my mom, Joe, Spencer, and Kyle for supporting me, not just through this process, but through every goal I've set throughout my life. Our family has instilled in me a strong work ethic and love of learning new things. We challenge each other and we love unconditionally, and I can't thank you all enough for that. To my friends, home group family, and all the people who have prayed and offered words of encouragement, thank you. I'm blessed to have your friendship, and I'm glad God put each of you in my life. To my Busy Bee family, when Stephen, Ruby, and I moved here five years ago, I had no idea what school I'd end up at. I just knew it was God's plan for us to move here and I now know how fortunate I am to have ended up at PD. We have a building full of passionate and dedicated teachers. We love each other and the kids, and we persevere even when days are tough. To Lori, I can never say thank you enough for coaching me, challenging me, and sharing your knowledge with me. You have pushed me to be the best teacher that I can, and you have instilled in me how important it is to be intentional with my planning. To Angela, you have given me opportunities that I am so grateful for and have shared experiences with me that I will always remember. To Wendy, you believed in me from the first lesson you observed when I was an adept. You probably, ne you probably had no idea how nervous I was to teach that lesson in front of you. 
You told me that day and have continued to remind me that teaching is my calling, even that day in the kitchen when I really needed a word of encouragement. Thank you for sharing your baby girl with me this year and for your love and support. To the kindergarten team, I am so thankful for the four years we got to work together. We were able to bring out the best in each other, and you will always hold a special place in my heart. To my Holly, we truly made one good person. I would not be standing here today without your endless love and support. To the second grade team, I was so excited about coming to second grade this year. I love learning new things, and this year has been such an adventure. I am thankful for our fast friendship and the way we were able to quickly learn each other. I love each of you very much. To my very first second grade class, you all have made this year the most fun, and I'm so thankful for each of you. You're a very special group of kids, and I love you. I can't wait to celebrate with them. This year has been such a reflective process for me. How did I end up here? Why is this opportunity so important to me? When I think back on those things, one person especially comes to my mind, my mentor for life and my marigold teacher, Stephanie Hughes. Stephanie is the kind of teacher that you just want to be like. She loves her students first and foremost. She just gets it. When we planned lessons together, I just wanted to know exactly what she was going to say and how to say it so that the students would understand. I know the kindergarten farm is always open with a listening ear and a word of advice, and I love you. I hope that I can be half the mentor to other teachers that Stephanie has been to me. Teachers have the absolute best job in the world. We get to go to work with students and build relationships every day, and we have the opportunity to multiply our influence through ordinary kindnesses. We have the chance to get to know incredible children with individual stories and strengths. We have the opportunity to get to know families, some who are fortunate and have great support systems, and some that we have to step in and be the support system. We get to interact with little personalities and watch them have countless light bulb moments where we just know we got a concept through to them. I know that when I go to work each day, my babies are counting on me to smile and help them. They know that I want to see them succeed and reach their full potential. They want to sit by me at lunch and share every little moment of their lives with me. I want to encourage you that no matter what program you're teaching or what initiative we have going on, the most important thing is to love your students. You wouldn't be here tonight if you didn't. Being a part of Horry County Schools has afforded me opportunities I never imagined. I am so excited about the opportunity to represent our wonderful district. I will do my very best to represent the many amazing teachers that we have. Every experience God gives us, every person he puts in our lives, is the perfect preparation for a future only he can see. I've held on to this Corey Ten Boom quote throughout this process, and I am excited about the future and representing Horry County Schools as this year's District Teacher of the Year. Thank you so much. Thank you, Whitney, for those inspiring words. Um, I want to uh, tag on to something that she said about calling, about teaching, being a calling. Uh, I know as I look out over this audience that there are, are many people present representing many different family connections. Uh, there are uh, husbands, there are wives, grandmother, grandfather, children. You know, when you assume the role of a teacher, uh, it's not just a job that ends at the end of the day. You continue to work. It's not a job that ends at the end of the school year. You still continue to work over the summer. You stagger and, and you uh, work schedules with your spouse. Uh, you want to take very good care of your own children while showing that same care and concern for other people's children. And I believe that teaching is the most noble profession. And I'm just so proud of everybody 
in this room tonight that we can celebrate you for the accomplishments that you have had and also want to say that I am so proud that you are a part of Horry County Schools. Thank you so much for the hard work that you do on a daily basis and every year. You are appreciated. This concludes our program. So have a good evening and go celebrate. Thank you.